Welcome to the AL.com Film Room. I'm Matt Scalisi here with John Parker Wilson, our Alabama football analyst. We're going to be taking a look at Alabama's big win over Tennessee. They're eighth in a row, John Parker. Uh, their streak in this series extends all the way back to your days at Alabama. Another big win for Alabama yeah, in Knoxville. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, there's a, lot, there's a generation right now that has never lost to Tennessee and doesn't know what that's like. So it was a great win for Alabama. Lane Kiffin coming back to Tennessee was a big storyline. Putting up a lot of points is great to see. I think uh, Alabama just continued the trend from last week against Texas A&M. He was really able to dominate early often and uh, came out with a great team win. Well, lots of plays to look at in this game uh, for the Alabama offense. We're going to look at a few of the bigger ones uh, and break down why were they so successful. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of plays are successful right now because of number nine. Uh, Amari Cooper is getting the, getting the ball in his hands and, and doing a lot of good things with it. So it's good to stay, see him keep going, keep rolling. Even that everybody on the field knows he's getting the ball, he's still producing and putting up big numbers. Okay, so kind of a really interesting play here for Alabama to open this game up, to get Amari Cooper involved in a way we really haven't seen them do yet. Yeah, I love the concept of the play call by Coach Kiffin. We, we see this really tight formation with everybody in close to the line of scrimmage, and this it just kind of throws off the defense. You can see once it starts playing that some guys are playing man, some guys are playing zone. So 33 is going in man coverage right here while the cornerbacks are out here playing zone. So they're confused initially. And this is just trying to get the ball to Amari early and trying to do it in a different way. We're going to send it behind the line of scrimmage, something we haven't seen this year, and just try to get the ball and let's see what happens after. Once he gets it, we see good blocks downfield um, that we've seen in all these big plays. The receiver's making blocks. And when they do that, we're able to spring him free, and he just outruns the defense. First play of the game, very creative way for Lane Kiffin to get Amari Cooper the ball. Okay, so we'll see the end zone picture right here. And trying to get to a man coverage, but somebody loses Amari, be it from the play fake or just the original alignment. Um, he gets underneath, and Blake does a really good job uh, of getting him the ball. We see Chris Black make a good block. Here comes DeAndre in the picture once again, springing him free. And just uh, the speed, the ability, the agility of Omari to get downfield has, has been fun to watch all season. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of it uh, for the rest of the year. All right, just a couple of plays later, really, Alabama hits Amari Cooper again for another touchdown. Yeah, keeping the gas pedal on, and this is just a man-on-man -man coverage outside. Uh, there's one safety, and Amari just – just beats the guy. Uh, Pre-snap read by Blake, just getting the ball. Amari runs a little double move. We've seen him run this called a sluggo, a slant and go route, and he just runs right by the guy, by the cornerback. It, it kind of, kind of, so quick to see that we can't see it, but he runs just a little one step in, and then runs the fade deep, beats the guy, the cornerback, thinks he's going to run a quick, uh, quick slant route. And he runs the, the fade for the touchdown, uh, putting points on the board early, and that's kind of what sustained us throughout the whole game. All right, once again in this game, we get to see Blake Sims' athleticism really torching an opposing defense, makes another big play with his feet in this game. Definitely. We've seen this a couple times this year now, and it's becoming more and more part of the offense. Is the zone read that we see throughout college football now. And right now we're just – the uh, what happens in this play is the defensive end is just left unblocked, and what the quarterback is doing is reading him. So if he goes down the line of scrimmage, Blake's going to pull the ball, which he does in this case, makes a good read and just – um, outruns the rest of the defense. You see 50 take, take Yeldon in the run, and then Blake does a good job of just darting upfield and breaking tackles for the, for the long run. Um, you know, scored 21 points right here. You see Blake, Blake's athleticism of, of reading the guy and being able to just outrun the defense for the end zone. Another storyline this season so far for Blake Sims is how efficient he's been on third down. One of the best quarterbacks in the country, really, on third down. Yeah, and he does it in so many different ways. We just saw him run the ball with his own read. Here we'll see him third and nine, a definite passing situation. Um, does a good job of reading downfield and not making any bad decisions right here in Tennessee, in our own territory. He does a good job of pulling it down and then just getting upfield and making the, making a second effort to get the, get the first down. And love seeing Coach Kiffin up here up top getting pumped with a fist pump, you know, telling the referee where the, where the ball's being spot. But just a, another example of Blake making plays uh, this time with his feet. Okay, here we see third and four right now. We're going to try to get the ball to Amari once again. And, and what really impresses me here is his route running ability. We'll see him run this, this quick, um, kind of the same slant route that we saw before. We call it a slant return and just playing games with the linebacker inside right now. Um, Blake does a good job of throwing the ball where he can catch it, but, but Amari's um, running route ability is, is what makes the play right here because this is a tough third and four conversion. Uh, the double move, once again, springs him open and, and converts the first down. Okay, 
kind of a key point in the game here late in the third quarter. Alabama's up 10, and they get a big play from their running game. Let's break down why this one works so well. Yeah, so we have a safety blitz coming right now from the secondary, and it's man-to-man -man coverage underneath. That includes the upfront box uh, from Kelly and Bozeman. And they're going to start off with actually a double-team block right here and do a great job of coming off. You can see Kelly coming back inside, Bozeman kicking out, and that's what's going to form this pocket for Henry to run through. After that, it's just him making a good move, kind of deking out the safety as he comes down, um, but just, just getting to the outside and running. But Kelly and Bozeman doing a great job of springing that. And what's a, a pivotal point in the game, only up 10 late in the third quarter, so really you know, sealing the game uh, as, as it progressed on. All right, John Parker, this, this Alabama offense looking really impressive the last two weeks in a row here, uh, both at home and on the road now. We've seen them, we've seen them play well. They get a bye week here. They're getting ready to go into Death Valley, LSU. Uh, you know all about what it's like to play there. So just talk about what do you think this team is going to be focusing on during this two weeks of preparation leading up to LSU? Yeah, it was really good to see us go on the road for the first time and really dominate and, and win a good game. Um, I think that's going to be the, the, the focus this week uh, for the bye week is just continuing the execution uh, in a hostile environment. So we've done it at home, now we've done it on the road, now it's about doing it again, repeating the same thing over and over again. I think they'll be focused on those little details, the execution, which um, really made the difference in this game, what made the difference in the A&M game, and kind of what is the separating factor in the Alabama offense so far this year. That's it for this edition of the AL.com Film Room. Join us later in the week for another look at the Alabama-Tennessee game. All right. Well, that's it for today. Take a that, but, 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 we'll cut and then I'll do this. Okay. Ready? Here we go.